Dear viewers, welcome to our channel. Recently, China's Tiangong Space Station has taken a huge leap forward in the aerospace field, drawing global attention to this achievement. But what technological breakthroughs lie behind this news? How will China's development in spaceship technology impact the world's aerospace landscape? Meanwhile, how will the U.S. cope with the challenge posed by China while using outdated chips in space? Can China achieve its goal of long-term stable operation of high-performance chips in orbit, and what changes will this bring? Recently, Hong Kong Media South China Morning Post released a blockbuster report. Against the backdrop of China's continuous breakthroughs in the aerospace industry, China is leveraging its Tiangong space station to test various chip processors, gaining a brand new technological advantage. In contrast, the chips the U.S. employs in space are based on a 250 nanometers process, which is decades old. China not only has over 20 types of high-performance chips ranging from 28 nanometers to 16 nanometers processes, but also more chip manufacturers queued up for space testing in the future. China aims to develop high-performance chips that can maintain stable and reliable operation in orbit for extended periods, a highly challenging task. According to reports, the competitive landscape in the international aerospace field has undergone significant changes in recent years. For China, a country with strong aerospace capabilities, NASA is no longer its primary competitor, replaced by private aerospace companies like SpaceX. These enterprises are gradually reshaping the traditional aerospace industry with innovative technologies and business models. As one of the world's most influential private aerospace companies, SpaceX and its founder Elon Musk have been leading the industry's development with visionary goals and innovative spirit. The company has successfully developed a series of rockets and spacecraft such as Falcon 1 and Falcon 9, realizing reusable rocket technology and significantly reducing the cost of space exploration. Additionally, SpaceX plans to achieve the goal of man landing on Mars in the coming years, demonstrating the formidable strength of private aerospace enterprises in the space domain. Meanwhile, China is actively responding to this challenge by striving to enhance its aerospace capabilities. In addition to continuing to strengthen cooperation with traditional aerospace powers like Russia, China is also actively promoting the development of private aerospace companies. In recent years, Chinese private aerospace companies such as Blue Arrow Aerospace and Interstellar Glory have emerged and achieved a series of significant breakthroughs, injecting new vitality into China's international aerospace industry. In the field of satellite communication, China plans to build a Starlink-like system in the outer layer of the Earth's atmosphere in the coming years. It is reported that China's Starlink project will involve multiple private aerospace companies and aims to provide high-speed internet services covering the globe. The implementation of this project will further promote the development of global satellite communication technology to meet the growing demand for high-speed, high-quality networks. Experts suggest that the demand for high-performance, low-cost space-grade ships will grow rapidly worldwide. With the rapid development of space exploration and satellite communication, the demand for high-performance chips will continue to rise. To meet this demand, aerospace companies and research institutions worldwide are intensifying the development of new space-grade chips to improve the performance and reliability of aerospace equipment. In this process, China is expected to leverage its advantages in the semiconductor industry to make greater contributions to the development of the global aerospace industry. According to the regulations of the International Space Station, countries conducting experiments in space must publicly disclose detailed and effective information obtained in space. This is because items that can be experimented within the space station usually have a high degree of confidentiality, an arbitrary disclosure may cause trouble for chip testing involving national and technological secrets. However, this has also become a means for the US to implement space hegemony, brazenly stealing other countries' experimental data. For China, NASA is no longer a worrying opponent because their Starlink satellites use a large number of cheap commercial chips, whose lifespan is usually not very long. To enhance the advanced nature and prudence of relevant technologies, Chinese aerospace engineers also hope to adopt artificial intelligence technology to obtain higher processing capabilities to meet the needs of space applications. Additionally, they also consider that with the increase in the number of transistors on ships, they will be more susceptible to interference from cosmic high-energy particles, affecting the accuracy of calculations and information storage.
In summary, the continuous breakthroughs in chip technology signify that China's rise in this field is unstoppable, but the U.S. remains adamant. As the command center for China's chip war, the U.S. Department of Commerce enacted multiple measures in 2023 to almost entirely encircle and contain China's chip industry. The U.S.'s purpose is clear, it hopes to halt the development of China's high-tech industry through the chip war to maintain its absolute superiority and dominance in the high-tech field, which is a necessary means to solidify American hegemony. After Biden took office, although many policies of the Trump era were overturned, the chip war against China was not cancelled, and the means were even more ruthless than those of Trump. After the chip war broke out, the US adopted a multi-pronged approach, signing secret agreements with Japan, South Korea, and the Netherlands to jointly sanction China's chip industry, maximizing the prevention of China's chip development. It's clear that the US is betting that China won't retaliate. But how could that be possible? In July 2023, China announced the implementation of export controls on germanium gallium materials, which are important semiconductor materials, and China has almost monopolized the entire industry chain of this material. Therefore, the US is difficult to avoid. After the implementation of control measures, many US products manufacturing encountered problems, thoroughly experiencing what it feels like to be sanctioned. Since 2014, China has vigorously supported the development of the semiconductor industry. After related enterprises reached the world's leading level in the 5G communication field, the US began to worry that the use of Chinese equipment in domestic 5G communication networks might threaten national security. Of course, it is also to ensure its leading position in the semiconductor field. Since 2018, the US has taken a series of control measures against Chinese companies, weaponizing the semiconductor supply chain and strictly controlling China's access to high computing GPUs and so on. The US export control measures against mainland China have undergone a step by step escalation process. On the one hand, the US Department of Commerce restricts China's access to high computing GPUs for training artificial intelligence in the artificial intelligence industry. On the other hand, unprecedented bans have been imposed on advanced process logic and storage chips as well as supercomputing centers. The control measures against leading chip companies in China are even stricter. However, although the US legal system is complex, it is not an impregnable net. Faced with newly enacted regulations, Chinese companies can, with the assistance of professionals, use exceptions, exemption periods, and other rules in compliance to ensure that their business is not affected. Finally, it is worth mentioning that in the first half of last year, ASEAN replaced the EU as China's largest trading partner, thanks to China's industries and investments going global and moving to these places. These regions will also import a large number of equipment from China to match their industrial layout. Finally, Chinese chips will achieve a complete supply chain in various regions. Since the US is determined to fight a chip war with China, let's see who will have the last laugh. The rapid development of China's Tiangong space station cannot be separated from the strong support and long-term strategic planning of the Chinese government for the aerospace industry. China started its manned space program in the 1990s and gradually established its own space station system. After years of effort, China has successfully launched multiple space laboratories and manned spacecraft, laying a solid foundation for the construction of the Tiangong space station. The advancement of China's aerospace technology is also one of the important reasons for the rise of China's aerospace industry. China has made a series of breakthroughs in areas such as rockets and satellites, not only possessing independent launch capabilities but also realizing multiple manned flight missions. These achievements have earned China's aerospace industry widespread recognition and respect internationally. In contrast, the US's loss of dominance in the Starlink project may be related to the development of China's aerospace industry. Firstly, the US's relatively reduced investment in the aerospace field has led to its technological and innovative level lagging behind. Secondly, the lack of long-term strategic planning and sustained funding support for space exploration in the US has resulted in slow project progress. Furthermore, the rapid development of China's aerospace industry has brought competition pressure to the U.S., forcing it to accelerate its pace. The comprehensive rise of China's aerospace industry cannot be ignored in its impact on the global landscape.
Firstly, China's successful experience will provide references and benchmarks for other countries and regions in the aerospace field, promoting the progress and development of global aerospace technology. Secondly, the rise of China's aerospace industry will promote cooperation and exchanges among countries, strengthening mutually beneficial relations between nations. Finally, the rise of China's aerospace industry will also provide support and guarantee for China to play a greater role in international affairs. The rise of China's Tiangong space station and the loss of dominance by the U.S.'s Starlink project are significant events in the current aerospace field. The reasons behind this involve national strategies, technological progress, and competitive pressure. With the comprehensive rise of China's aerospace industry, the global aerospace landscape will undergo significant changes, which will have far-reaching effects on international politics, economy, and technology trends. In conclusion, let me summarize for the readers, hoping you have gained some insights and reflections. This video first showcased the significant progress made by China's aerospace industry, reminding us to pay attention to and respect the achievements of other countries in the field of technology. Secondly, the article discussed the competition between China and the U.S. in aerospace technology and chip fields, prompting us to think about the global technological landscape. Furthermore, the article revealed the connection between aerospace technology and the semiconductor industry, making us realize the importance of technology in national security and development. We will continue to explore the latest developments in China's aerospace industry and the impact of aerospace technology on the world. At the same time, we will also pay attention to the dynamics of other countries in the field of technology, continuously learning and thinking, jointly promoting technological progress, and achieving sustainable development of human society. Today's video ends here. Stay tuned for the next exciting content. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.